Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose m and n are integers such that n is greater than or equal to m is greater than or equal to 1. Then, the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 over i minus the sum from i equals 1 to m of 1 over i is greater than or equal to n minus m over n. Now, to start off the proof, let's give ourselves an arbitrary integer m, where m is greater than or equal to 1. From here, we are going to proceed by induction on n. We are going to show for all integers n, such that n is greater than or equal to m, we have that this is true. And if we can prove this, then this will amount to proving the theorem. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to n. So let me start by writing the left-hand side of this inequality where n is replaced with n. Well, since these two guys are equal, we know that this is just equal to 0, and 0 is equal to m minus m over m. So really, we have shown that this guy is equal to this guy, and therefore, this guy is greater than or equal to this guy. So we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to n. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary integer n greater than or equal to n, where this is true. And the whole goal of the induction step is to now show that this is also true for n plus 1. That is, we want to show that this is true. So let me start out by writing the left-hand side of this inequality. Now, let's take this sum and pull away the n plus 1th term. So we can rewrite this as the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 over i plus 1 over n plus 1. So really, we know that what we have underlined in red is greater than or equal to n minus m over n. Therefore, this entire thing must be greater than or equal to n minus m over n plus 1 over n plus 1. And now, it turns out, we can show that n minus m over n is greater than or equal to n minus m over n plus 1. And to see how, well, we know that n plus 1 is greater than n. And since these guys are both positive, it follows that 1 over n plus 1 must be less than 1 over n. And then, if we take this inequality and subtract n to the other side, we have that n minus m is greater than or equal to 0. And since n minus m is greater than or equal to 0, well, if we multiply n minus m on both sides of this inequality, well, the direction of the inequality will still be the same. The only difference is that less than will become less than or equal to. And so we have shown that n minus m over n is greater than or equal to n minus m over n plus 1. Therefore, this entire thing must be greater than or equal to n minus m over n plus 1 plus 1 over n plus 1. And then, since these two fractions have the same denominator, if we add them together, it's just going to be n minus m plus 1 over n plus 1. And the numerator is just n plus 1 minus m. And that is exactly what we wanted. So, we have shown that this guy is greater than or equal to this guy. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So, we have proven through induction that this statement is true. And that amounts to proving the theorem. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.